All right, man, we're looking once again at the fifth commandment, that commandment, and it's the first commandment with promise. It says, honor your father and mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Ephesians says, honor your father and mother that it may be well with you and that you may live a long time on this earth. I want to talk a few minutes about how you show honor to your parents. You can show honors by, by the way you talk to them, calling them, maybe calling them. If, if they're out of state or out of town, how often do you call your parents and just tell them you love them? How often do you call your parents and ask them how they're doing? You know, how well do you do something like that? And I might even say something else that, that I see in culture today. It used to be when parents grew old and couldn't take care of themselves, the children would take them into their home or their children would help provide for them and what have you. And that's something we've lost today, especially with all the nursing homes. And I know there may be situations where medically you, you may not be able to do this, but I remember my first little church that I pastored was 18 little old ladies in a nursing home and how many of them asked me to do their funeral because they said, nobody else comes up to visit me. My family does not come up to see me. No, my children don't come up to see me. One of the ways that really the Bible talks about honoring your father and mother is taking care of them in their old age, taking care of them, making sure that their needs are met. And in some cases, and I'm, I'm not just preaching to you, I brought my in-laws, my wife's parents, we moved them into our home. And you say, was that a sacrifice? That was a huge sacrifice. It was difficult. But we brought them into our home and took care of them the last real year and all the, all the things that go with that. And everything you can imagine went with that. But why did you do that? I said, we did it because it was proper. You honor your father and mother. And the spiritual consequence to that is this. You'll live a long time on the earth and it'll be well with you. Was it inconvenient? Extremely. But I'm going to tell you something. It's worth it if it upgrades your quality of life and lengthens the number of your days. It's worth it. So I challenge you. What can you do to honor your father and mother?